So out with the old Bugatti as it gets a PPI. And I am just waiting on the Bugatti Veyron. That's the one. Surprise, surprise. Oh, sh there it is, too. Hot damn. I bought this thing two months ago. I have yet to drive it. This will be the first time I get to drive it. Out with the new, in with the old. Yes, that's yes. What I, that's what I always say. Yes. <laughs> damn, Man, it bro. It looks awesome. I'm so hyped. You just downgraded the cars. <laughs> I know, yes. He's like, and folks, I am so excited we're broke in the Hamilton collection. I traded in this 2019 Bugatti for the 2006 Bugatti, <laughs> man. What's up, girl? Yo, that is 2006 so carbon fiber? Yeah, Jeez. girl. That ex that. <laughs> uh, is there another main No, that's, that's the key for this car. Oh, that's the main one? I think so, yeah. Oh, okay. If not, if not there's a key to your house. I'm used to this one. Yes. That's the one I used on the Chiron for a year when I lost my nice one. I can pull it out. That's what she said. We'll roll out. Let's go. Yay! There you go. It's so quiet. I'm so Dude, excited. that's like circa 2009 rapper, like so gangster. That's so cool. He right now. I know. <laughs> he pulls out and goes straight into the curb. Oh my god. Look yeah, at the, look at the um, induction right there. That that air thing. Do you see how big that? Oh my big, god. Is? It's how right behind it? your head. Also, the side skirts are all carbon fiber. I didn't know that. Oh, badass. These are all carbon. This also doesn't smell like the usual barnyard farm it smells good in here like fresh saying, shampoo. it smells really good one -handed clap for bugatti chicago. yes bugatti in chicago <laughs> moving up i love it just pulled out of the dealership and we are going to go ahead and give this thing the first spin on the road now those of you that are followers you will recall that i got to drive stradman's veyron i actually used to hate the bugatti veyron with a passion and uh and it was driving his that made me realize that they're actually more fun than the Chiron. the Chiron is the car like if i mean i have both of them now right so the Chiron is the one that i'm going to take on a cruise a long distance cruise it's definitely going to get the most clout, but if I want to just go and beast an extremely fast car and really feel the road and feel the driving experience, this is actually the one of the two that's going to better better provide that for me. Let's see if Tommy uh, will drive a little faster today. This is like the, I, I mean, I think that the drivetrain is pretty much the same, if I recall. I know it's very different turbo setup. Yeah. It sounds so much the same. Yes. I was surprised at the way to start it up. I'm used to just hitting a push button on the steering wheel. This steering wheel, very clean and bare. There's nothing on it. Um, where my other one had up down controls, a spin knob to select a different drive mode. Definitely older. Like you can see the radio thing, it's like all digital. It is like the old school digital, like my very expensive Casio CW, I'm sorry, like my very expensive Casio CA53W watch. These things are hard to find, by the way. Um, this is actually worth more than the Bugatti Veyron itself, believe it or not. Yeah, I mean, well, they, they tried to keep the Chiron very classic as well right so if anything like this in some ways this looks more current than it does i don't know it's shinier and brighter launch control i love it's got a seat warmer i wonder if that's a standard option this is fun that five mile, five mile an hour pole was fun seat warmers you have the spoiler up ah uh, okay and this dude missed it he's just looking down at his dude that goes way up that's super tall that is what she said <laughs> What the f it changed the suspension too. Oh, handling mode changed, I think, too. I'm like, I felt the car adjust as well. I wonder how much like that, like this clock, that's probably a $3,000 part. What does this button do? Is that the glove box? Watch it like eject, it ejects you. Eject All right, we got glove box number one. Oh, we have CDs? What kind? I don't know, but they're saying it says disc two. Nice. Okay. All right. All right. This is blank. Let me see. Wow. This this literally shows the age of the car. Like this is back in my day. That's when so we'd fun. burn CD. Oh, and it has a CD player. When is the last see time I put a CD in? A... Oh yeah, I think there is one in there, but there oh, is. Just Let's just try that. Guessing that's volume. Yeah. 
What the f is that? That's about as much of that. I think it's some kind of country. I love that the speedometer is not the focal gauge, it's the, the tachometer. Probably so you can sit there and paddle shift and focus on your RPMs when you're gonna shift. True race car. And then they have this tiny speedometer that goes up to 280 miles an hour. Bugatti emblems on everything. Still like very similar feel. Like if you just plopped me in here and I was in a blindfold, it sounds just like the bug. Like I might not know that I was in a Veyron. This is all vent, this tiny narrow thing is AC. Good air conditioning, it feels, oh, remember we talked, to, we were wondering yeah. if it had air conditioning on the way? It works. It does. I also noticed that there was this push button here that, bada boom. Oh, okay. Yep, yep, we got lots of storage oh, in here. Oh, there's little lights in there. Oh, that's cute. That's getting shut now. No center console, the other one had a teeny tiny console if I remember. This would better hold like a, a Coke. I can't wait to just get on it. In fact, let's circle back up when we get on the highway. We'll be right back. What you didn't see was 45 minutes of stop and go traffic. That's typical Chicago bull crap as we head into more stop and go traffic. Damn it. Tommy and Natalia got seven minutes ahead. Let's see if Tommy uh, will drive a little faster today. So we got to really catch up to those people. And we learned a few things. We learned a few things about this car in that 45 minutes we had. First of all, the braking as I slam on the brakes. The braking is still really good. I would say probably second best in the collection next to the Chiron. Nothing comes close to the Chiron other than this. Second, it has a really cool horsepower gauge that goes 100, 200, 300, all the way up to 1,001, which as I hit the brakes again, represent the horsepower in this thing. Uh, we found out that the fuel is measured in gallons. So it says 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and it goes up to 26 gallons, which is a huge freaking gas tank for a car. That's crazy. Now these seats are tighter on both of our asses. Uh, Aiden behind the camera is uh, a smaller guy, but this he, it's even cramping his ass. They're not the softest. Yes, and uh, trust me, he's used to ass pains. Oh, yeah. uh, Tommy and him, you know. <laughs> I'm just kidding, bro. We, we did find out something else silly, and that was that when we put the spoiler up, it launched in like race mode, which was so low that we both cringed when we hit a few bumps in the city right before we got on the highway. It was loud, and I can't wait to see the damage. Stick around, and we'll see if there's damage together when we get out of the Dude, car. It bottomed out pretty bad. That's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> we did determine there's no Bluetooth, and that is that is very not attractive. But I think we can figure something out with that. There's got to be an adapter we can hook up behind the head unit or something. You might be asking about this color combo. Now, this is not the best color combo in a car. And our intention was to, to do a couple modifications to this. Three, actually. There are three items that we bought that are gonna change the way this car looks. Now, these three items are not cheap. They're about $50,000 total that we'll have invested. But relative to the value of the car, that's less than 5% of the value of the car, and it's gonna make this thing look awesome. So stay tuned. We're gonna have that vlog in a week or two, and uh, we'll show you guys how much this car gets transformed by spending less than 5% of the cost. It's gonna be a completely different vehicle. Now we're gonna do some polls. It's, it's opening up again. We gotta see how this thing does really fast speeds. And there was a cop following us for like 20 minutes. Yeah. And then another cop in the city. So much louder, the turbos are crazy. See, they were quieter, I think, at idle. What is that sound? It sounds almost like a... Like, that like the so good, like the Koenigsegg, like 1960s boost. But it's so refined and smooth. That's all. That was all the way down. This thing's definitely louder and definitely sounds uh, very similar at idle and when you light accelerate, but when you hit it hard, completely different sounding car than the Chiron. Night and day. The steering is definitely a little more raw. You feel the bumps, it's not quite as smooth and refined. And that's why I fell in love with it. It's definitely a little slower, like, and we already knew that. And, but, but the crazy thing is this car is, the brakes are really good actually. They're, they're close to the Chiron. This is a 13 year older car than the one that I had. And it does not feel like 13 years of technology passed between the two. Like, it no. feels like three or four years. My gut is this one probably doesn't feel as safe as the Chiron at 200 or 211, but it probably still feels way better than anything else. My, I bet you would be number two stability wise, but that Chiron is dangerous because it feels so safe. Just got back from Chicago. I threw it in race mode. Tommy, did you really not see it with the spoiler up like that before any I, car? 
I've seen a Veyron, yeah, but okay. not, not your car. Like, that's cool. Look oh, at you it. You haven't seen All right, I got you. Anyway, spoiler is crazy high. That's much higher than the Chiron. We're going to assess the damage that I did in this mode, and you can see how low it is. I should not have done this on Chicago streets. Him and I scraped like four times, by the way. <laughs> I was going to say, it was, it was bad. Aiden was telling me, like, that was, that was oh. pretty bad. <laughs> and then we took it out of the mode, and we hit way bigger bumps, so thank God I took it out of the yeah. mode, because it would have been much worse. Yep, looks like the old Chiron. That's pretty bad. I wonder if that was there, or if that's all Steve f ups. I asked somebody at Bugatti service, and they said it may not have been like that before. <laughs> may not have? We don't know. Uh, may or no may not. Might. We'll just say well, it. we'll just say that it was like that's that. That's a lot of damage. I should be disappointed, but I'm not. We know how to get that shit fixed. Plus, what? He goes, I should be he just He's the only person on earth who would scrape the crap out of a Veyron. I'd be like, I'm not disappointed. I'm glad it happened. I mean my my mindset has shifted after hanging out with Cody from Whistling Diesel and then after just getting reamed on resale values on super and hypercars. We're just gonna go have lots more fun with these cars. If you think what we did before was bold, then you ain't seen nothing yet. Some of the stuff we, we've started filming has been pretty cringe, hasn't it? It was Tommy? bold. <laughs> you <laughs> jumping over the Holy Trinity and the snowboarding nothing. behind a Sharon. That was so PG. That was so last year. If you recall from the prior video when I got my Senna, I actually traded in my old blue Keith Urban owned Pagani Waira for two vehicles. The first one was the McLaren Senna, and the second one is the one that we've been talking about constantly, but not giving you info on what it is, is this Bugatti Veyron. I'm gonna bring over Perrin, who is one of the owners and partners at Chicago Motor Cars, and I'm gonna actually find out how much, this thing had a huge maintenance bill, and it seems that only he knows what it was because Bugatti of Chicago was not willing to tell us. Of course, they need to protect their customer, which was him at the time, but he really took care of us to make sure this thing came to us in pristine condition. In fact, I've gotten a lot of my vehicles, my LaFerrari, my Porsche 918, lots of my vehicles through Chicago Motor Cars. Perrin always takes care of me and is really good at finding stuff off market, and they also really help us sell a lot of our cars too which is a feat in itself. And if you want to check out all of their awesome inventory, and they have a lot, click on the link right here, and you'll see some really neat cars. All right, Prin just arrived. We wanted to ask you, what all maintenance did it need? I know it ended up being a lot more than you initially expected, right? So this car was due for its major service. Yep, I got you. So major service, and, and it was there for a solid two months, so I know it one was. of the parts was back ordered. That was a hold the back one Yeah, itself. at one point they were trying to fit an Aventador part on here because the part didn't exist, and they ended up tracking it down. Bugatti didn't have it in service, and. It was a whole thing. But I know you've always delivered the cars. We've had to wait on a few of them because you always make sure that they're taken care of, so we appreciate you for that, sir. Thank you. Hell yeah, we mentioned you're before how you guys are the, the one-stop shop to go get an awesome hyper supercar and many other cars. Thanks for working out that, that two-for-one trade. That was uh, that was historic, it was awesome, in my man. opinion. absolutely freaking lootly And this thing drove really well, too, on the way home. It drove really smooth. I mentioned to them, so the only other Veyron I had driven prior was Stradman's. And that one was like, it felt way more raw, but I think that's just because it's more used. <laughs> like it's, I don't know, that's the best way to put it. This one felt a little more, it's still more raw than the Chiron, but it wasn't as raw as James's car. So it, it felt well put together and it drives really well. If I'm not mistaken, he's got an aftermarket exhaust on his. He does. Well, so yeah, and, and we'll, that we'll, could change a little bit of the yeah. dynamics of the feeling, but. And uh, we might want to get to, we might want to get to that too though. Yeah, and if it's. They, <laughs> sound, they sound wild. The car, the car isn't certified through Bugatti, so. So it's we can do whatever we want. Yeah, we <laughs> <laughs> and you just yeah. pretty much sold the Chiron, pretty much. Yeah, we'll it's, see. Yeah, it's looking ninety nine percent, right? It's it's a I think it's a done deal. Ah, right, it, right, it needs uh, it needs to pass its inspection, yeah. which yeah. it should it because will. you serviced it. It's only been uh, it's only gone one hundred to two hundred miles since they did the major service. Yeah, there. so that should be good. Badass. All right, and now we're gonna head to Chicago Auto Pros, and I'm gonna give you a little bit of a hint of the awesome things that we're gonna do to modify this, and then of course that vlog is gonna go live in just a little bit of the 5% or less of the total vehicle cost that we're gonna spend to make this thing look like another million dollars. 